Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. January 19, 1966, Indira Gandhi leads India. Indira Priyadarshini Gandhi was born in Allahabad, India, in 1917. The only child of Jawaharlal Nehru, the first president of independent India, was the first female head of state in South Asia. He studied at the universities of Visvaburti and Oxford and, in 1938, joined the Congress Party. He had an active participation in the struggle for independence in India, in which he came to personally collaborate with Mahatma Gandhi. A member of India's most powerful political dynasty, Indira began her rise as a close collaborator with her father. When he died, she became a key figure, mainly due to her popularity among the masses and the fact that she was a member of the Nehru family. He accompanied President Nehru on his state trips and had the opportunity to meet the most important politicians and statesmen of the time, which would lead him to fulfill an essential role as a public figure. Indira was elected president of the party in 1959. In 1964, Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri, who succeeded Nehru after his death, appointed her Minister of Information and Broadcasting, a post she held until 1973. Shastri's premature death in 1966 led her to assume the General Secretariat of the Congress Party and, from there, to the post of Prime Minister. From 1967 onwards, she would also hold the positions of Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Finance, Minister of Interior and Minister of Defense. In the performance of the new position, for which she was successively re-elected, from January 19, 1966 in which she became Prime Minister of the Indian Union, until 1977, her policy was characterized by marked progressism which caused serious conflicts within his own party and a firm desire to strengthen ties between non-aligned countries. He accepted Soviet aid during India's war against Pakistan and was in favor of creating Bangladesh. In 1975, when growing opposition to his policy threatened his tenure, he declared a state of emergency and suppressed individual freedoms. This, coupled with a series of measures that did not have the support of the population, led to its defeat in the 1977 elections. In 1980, it regained power after winning the elections, to which it had run for the party of the new Congress, political organization that he had created after the excision of the Congress party. In June 1984, in an attempt to end the Sikh revolt in Punjab, he ordered to attack the holy temple of the Sikhs in the holy city of Amritsar, which caused the death of approximately 450 people, including civilians and Sikh opponents. Shortly thereafter, Indira was murdered by two members of her personal guard, of Sikh origin. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.